Hi, I'm Anna. Welcome to my channel. I hope uh, all of you are doing fine uh, or the best possible way. And well, I wanted to talk about these because there are a few books I've been like avoiding to read. Just because I'm too, too scared because of the hype. I mean, I don't know if you will, um, if it has happened to you too, but sometimes it's like a book is so hyped, your expectations are too high too. So you're like, no, I, I, what if I get disappointed? And who hasn't had that experience? Like sometimes you feel disappointed at a book because you're expecting too much because certain people you follow liked it or loved it and you were so, so sure you were going to like it and uh, you forget you have different tastes or that you're driven by different aspects from books. I don't know. So, the first book I wanted to talk about is The Invisible Life of Adi Leroux. I ordered this in December when I ordered my Kindle because I was like, okay, I want to order a book for a couple of months in the year. Amazon uh, has free delivery uh, to Colombia. And I was like, okay, so what do I order? And I saw this one and it wasn't that expensive. And I was like, no, I have to order this one. Everybody's loving it. Everybody's crying their eyes out. So yeah, I ordered this and now I'm scared. I mean, I haven't read it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. It has... Gorgeous and pages. I just love them. Simple, but I love that color. And I really like that gold on the spine. And I feel I'm going to like the book. But now I'm not sure anymore because I've seen a couple of people uh, not liking it as much. I mean, especially Jade from JD Ray Reads. She absolutely loves Schwab. And don't get me wrong, she really liked this one. She gave it four stars. But normally Schwab would be a five star for her. So, for her. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just... Ah, uh, so scared to read this one. Uh, this is a fantasy romance. And it's the story of Adi, who... Um, at the desperate moment in her life, in the 18th century, uh, makes a pact with the devil, I think, and then she will live forever, but she cannot be remembered. So if she leaves the room where she is with someone she met, when she comes back, the person doesn't know who she is, which has to be horrible and desperating. But then, one day, 300 years after this, after she makes this pact, she meets Henry, who remembers her name. So, I don't know what's going to happen, and I don't know if I'm going to like it. I really hope I love it, but I really need to read this one. It's so, so hyped. I'm, I'm just anxious to get to it. The second book I wanted to talk about is A Little Life by Hanya Janagiara. I'm not so sure how to pronounce it. This has made so many people cry. People who never thought they were going to cry, cried like babies because of this book. I mean, I watched Noel Gallagher cry crazily. I've watched a Brit from, basically Brit, cry her eyeballs i i just i don't know i mean i'm i'm not only scared because of the hype because everyone believes it's so well written it just gets to you and destroys you and it's designed to destroy you but and that's what makes a book special to me like it makes you feel then i mean i don't know what's going to do to me and i'm what a kind heart even though i don't tend to show my cuteness <laughs> Um, I'm quite a, a, I have quite a soft heart, so yeah, I'm, I'm very, very scared, but I'm planning to vlog reading this one whenever I get to it, but I don't know if I'm more scared or excited or curious even. And I've heard, uh, there's LGBTQ 
cute representation in here. And oh, I need to forget to tell you the plot. It's a story of four friends who moved from Massachusetts, I believe, to New York. The names are Willem, JB, Malcolm, and Jude. I remember Jude's name. Like, everyone cried because of Jude. So, and uh, it's basically their struggles, their friendship, the stages, their friendships uh, go through, the hardships they go through in life, either together or each one in separate ways, I believe. Then, uh, the Bone Season series. Yeah, not a book, a whole series, because... I've seen so many people absolutely love it. I believe Mari from uh, Book Browsing Vlog. Uh, then um, uh, Steph from Stuff Loves also. As far as I know, this is like a, a fantasy, sci-fi, dystopian-ish. And it's the story of Paige, uh, who's 19 and is a clairvoyant. And clairvoyancy is forbidden in her world. So she's at some point kidnapped and imprisoned. And I just know that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Oh, also Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction. She's like very much in love with these. And I just, I don't know. I'm scared. I don't know. I don't know. But I need to read this one. Then the Throne of Class series by Sarah J. Maas. Okay, so far I've only read uh, the two first books in the Akata series, A Court of Thorns and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Maas. The only thing, issue ish, I have is the steam, and I'm very scared to read this one. This is uh, another YA fantasy and it's the story of Selina who is an assassin and she gets caught and imprisoned but I think the prince or the king or the... I'm not sure if it's a prince or a king uh, gives her the opportunity to be freed if she finds in a competition he organized to choose the next royal assassin. But somebody starts killing the participants so she has to find the killer before the killer finds her and kills her. She would be freed if she works for four years, I think it is, after the competition, but... Now her life is in danger, so I have no idea what's going to happen in the year. Next book is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I have heard even Cindy from Witch Cindy. Uh, love it. Actually, it was one of her top books from 2020. And uh, I'm, I'm scared also that it's going to destroy me. I know it's a historical fiction about the Second World War and it's the story of two sisters uh, during the war. I know nothing else. I know one of them is rebellious. The other one is not. I think the other one's a nurse. And during the war, but I've heard it can really destroy you and you should only read it if you're in the right side of mind. And lately, my mental health has not been as healthy. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite scared to get to this one. Uh, not that I don't like it. I'm pretty sure I'll like it. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to destroy me. Next is a book I'm supposed to get to this month. I'll see if I can. That is The Night Circus by Erin Morgan's Morgenstern. Morgenstern. Sorry, I, I, I just can never say it first time. So Morgan, Morgenstern. <laughs> <laughs> it, I'm a mess. What can I say with this last name? Um, and this is a YA fantasy romance with heavy flowery writing. That's what I have heard. And it's the story of a circus in which there's magic and that you never know when the circus is going to appear. It just appears uh, throughout the night. And I think there's a duel between the two main characters and that's all I know about it. So I really hope I like it. I have a feeling that I'm going to love it. But I know Steph from Steph Loves and Siobhan from Siobhan Louise reads a lot. The NFT. I think Siobhan the NFT twice. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite scared. But I think I'm going to love it just because of the atmosphere. 
Then, Amos calls by Patrick Ness. Uh, well, I'm all scared because I think it's also going to destroy me. Well, it seems to be a common factor in here. But yeah, uh, Amos calls is, I've heard it's a middle grade, but I've seen it classified as YA fantasy. So I'm not so sure now. But it's the story of... I think a young boy, uh, Connor, who lives with his mother. His mother's quite sick, no treatment, seems to be working for her. And he's having these constant nightmares about that. One day when he wakes up from a nightmare, like some creature from nature is visiting him, is in there, and they demand the truth. And I really have no idea what's going to happen after that. But I just know that, and that you uh, people have cried a lot. I saw Karim from Karim's Book Corner cry, Molly from Mind of Molly being destroyed by it. I mean, I don't know, but I'm very, very scared. My friend Siobhan from Siobhan Louis Roots a lot told me, read it when you're in the right side of mind, that you're going to be strong because it could destroy you. And I'm like... <laughs> I don't know, I think a little like this one and Adi Rue will have to be read in very different months far apart from each other. And when I'm just feeling, one day that I'm feeling okay, I have to grab one of these. Next book is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is one of the all-time favorite books uh, from uh, G from Book Roast. And... <laughs> I honestly wanted to get it because of that, because I believe she's quite a critical reader. But then I got scared. I mean, I love epic fantasy and this is an adult epic fantasy. It's the story of the best wizard of his time. I don't know his name. I should know. I have no idea what his name is, but yeah. Uh, the best wizard of his time is, is basically his whole life story and struggles. So I've heard this packed with action and I'm scared of it because of its size and because I really, really want to love this. Also the format is mass market paperback, so it doesn't help. Lines are so stuck to each other. And lastly, The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Barnard. I... Uh, was not so hyped for this one until I watched uh, Gavin from Gavin Hetherington and Cody from Cody's Book Corner read it and I was like, I need that book. And normally I've realized I have a tendency to like books Cody likes. So I thought, well, if she recommends, I'll try to get it, read it, see if I like it as much as she does. I like weird, dark books. And I, uh, she always recommends Anderson. That's why I started reading him. And I read Elantris and currently reading The Final Empire. Going to read the whole Miss Point. And, you know, like, I absolutely love Sanderson. So, I'll see. This is a classic middle grade. And it's the story of Mary, who lost both her parents. And, well, she seems to have had a quite horrible relationship with them. Uh, but then she goes, travels from India to England, back to England, uh, to live with her uncle. And her uncle is considerably strict, but she's like one of these very spoiled, nightmare children. Unbearable and quite difficult, really. Uh, so she finds this beautiful garden in her uncle's house. And I know nothing else. I don't know why the garden is special. I know she changes and you see like the whole change step by step, but I don't know anything else. And I be, I've postponed it like three times already, like reading it. I'm very scared because I've seen like mixed reviews. So yeah, this is the last one of these books. Please let me know if there are any books you are or were scared to read because of the hype and then you found out that yourselves loving them or you were disappointed uh, because you expected something different. And I'd love to know what you think of these books I have here on my stack.
and hope everybody's doing quite fine the beginning of 2021. Please don't forget to like, comment, especially comment. I'd love to know your opinions, your recommendations. Um, and subscribe, uh, click the bell down there to get notifications. And I hope to see you soon on my channel. Bye.